Yes, yeah, so, so welcome to Vasily's Garden, folks. It is fruit tree season, talking about pruning trees and even planting them. So going down to your local garden centre, you'll be able to find bare-rooted stock coming in. If not already, they'll be there due very soon. And you can also get potted stuff. So a lot of the garden centres nowadays are, are supplying them in pots or bags. It's a better way for the tree itself, unless you intend to get your trees nice and early as soon as they arrive, bare-rooted that is. And at the end of the day, they're a lot cheaper that way. So if you get your trees early, you can get them bare-rooted completely, providing you get them into the ground. Now, we're going to do some workshops on this coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, check out the dates on our website, vasiliesgarden.com. We're going to be talking about from preparing the soil. So we're going to go through the whole process of what it takes to prepare the hole to get the plant into the ground. Now, whether it's bare rooted or in a pot or bag, either way, we're going to go through those steps. And then we're also going to talk about what we look for in a young tree and what shape we want to establish. Because at the end of the day, there are many different ways you can grow your tree. You can grow it straight up, you can grow it in a cordon, you can grow it in a open vase, you can have it as spalling and so on. And we're also going to talk about how the trees bear their fruit. Some trees are spur bearing fruit, varieties or others are tip bearing so what I mean by that is that you'll find a branch like this for example on the plum it can be both it can be a, a spur bearer which means you get fruit along the stem of the branch or it actually clusters up at the tip of the branch itself now which one do you have well we'll run through a list of plants and varieties that tell us whether they are spur bearers or tip bearing uh, fruit trees now most plums generally are spur bearing so which that means they have little stubbles on the sides like this and that's where you get your fruit from along a two-year-old branch or thereabouts and other ones as i said earlier will be on the tips and it goes the same with apple trees and how to prune them to make them shape up well for example this is one we're going to use in the demonstration in the workshop so it's not just about me showing you it'll be about yourselves coming in and getting some hands-on experience using the secateurs and the tools you need to understand what to look for and how to prune it so that you can get the best shape out of your tree with the most productiveness and obviously uh, quality and health to go with it you can see this beautiful granny smith it's got a nice weep on it and that's where we get all our fruit all here are terminal little branches so these actually you'll get a little bit of growth out of that again so there you're not going to get a flower you're going to get a leaf and a branch growing out of that. So from here, what we're going to end up having is more growth, but we're going to show you how to cut this back and cause it to become a fruit-bearing spur and the bud itself. So we're going to swallow it out. So here, we get dozens of fruit on it. And then we're going to talk about the upright branches and how we train those so they stop growing upright and open up the vase in the middle. So that's one tree, for example. Also, younger trees. And you buy a young tree from your local garden centre or wherever you get it from, you may grow one yourself, you plant it in the ground and this starts to happen. I've left this like this purposely for the workshop so we can talk about you know, water shoots and, and suckers coming up all over the tree and how we train this back down to see here. Now we've got flowers and clusters coming on so this tree is already starting to shape up really well and something tells me this is a double graft as well. So we've got one variety here, yet another one up there, and we've got to control the growth of these trees. We can't allow one to overtake the other. How do we prune that back? Well, I've done a lot of demonstrations online, but this time we're going to do it hands-on in the workshop. You're going to come along and you're going to learn about how to bring your tree down, and at the same time, bring me your photos as well so that we can go through what trees you have and discuss it in a group. Now the seminars or the workshops are a small group of people, no more than 15 per uh, workshop, only because we want to keep it personal and we can be able to communicate with each other completely so I can understand exactly what you're looking for to achieve in your garden, however big or small it is, and we'll use our garden as an example to practice on. So these are some advanced trees which are about 15 years of age and we've kept them small, but we're also going to work on young trees too in this orchard folks, which we've had here for the last couple of years or so that I've been working on and every tree's got a different shape and form on it because we've got apples, pears, plums, peaches, nectarines and so on you can see some small uh, well here you can see I've cut it right down and working on this to get it to open up and give you some tricks of the trades on how to get this to open up properly uh, you can see some uprights here as well we're gonna work on these now the workshop itself folks and I know I haven't done any exact demonstrations today but I'm sure I've done enough of those over the last few years but the workshops let me run through that with you is where you're going to have a hands-on experience we're going to be planting bare-rooted stock we're going to be preparing the soil what we need to do how to prepare the soil uh, 
planting it, the proper procedures of planting and staking up the trees, pruning it, looking for the shape of the tree and see what you need to do to control it so you get the right structure so you don't have too many uprights, you haven't got any weak branches, we haven't got any cordon shape going up like this which is too close and you don't have any overlapping dead disease and damage and also how to get the tree to flower and fruit properly and through the cycles and more importantly feeding feeding and protection what um, fertilizers to use when and what sprays if you need to, you need to do any to control all the pests and diseases that occur on the plant so plenty of trees here to play with which we're all going to get a chance to do and obviously i'll be here to answer all your gardening questions and obviously support you with your trees at home if you bring some photos as long so check it out on our website uh, fruit tree workshops a fruit tree pruning workshop uh, three dates 16th 24th and the 30th of june uh, only 15 places per workshop so book it in now and you get some light refreshments and some fertilizers to go with the package it's all over silliesgarden.com and i'm lucky to find the last two oh, pears delicious pears. I almost thought they were Asian pears, but they're not, they're just normal pears. Oh, so good for you. For me, Vasily, Maresi, see you at the workshop.